just to finish up this segment is look at the uh, what we call the Arabic one two three in the old days. Um, so one of the things to think about is what can I do with the sword on my head in fast that's not going to compromise. It's not going to keep the, the sword's not going to keep falling off. Um, it's not going to get tilty and all kinds of strange things. But the Arabic with the with the drop 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 is perfect. And there are three, there's three variations from the vintage days. And I'm going to give you a little sneak peek um, in this class as to what that is. So one of the variations was right arm up, left arm down. The cue that we're going to do the drop, drop, drop segment is we step forward, we take it from a two count step to a four count step. So this is my right hand, my left hand. So we step forward one, two, three, four, and drop, 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 return. And now you're in the step until you take your team out of it. There's no number of times you do it. It's just there until you take your team out of it. The second variation that is vintage lost step that we don't do anymore, that's also perfect with vintage sword, is the Arabic hip twist with the drop, the drop, the drop. So we're, go we're going from, a, again, from a four count step to an eight count step, Arabic with our hip twist. And the cue again is slightly moved forward um, for the count of four. So here we're in place. One, two, three, four, one, two. Here's moving forward. One, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one we can do, we took backwards. Five, six, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, seven, eight. You can see how beautiful that is and perfect it is with the sword, right? All of the visuals are complementing each other. The ends of the fingertips, the tips of the sword, the stability in the shoulders, the chin, the head are here and everything swiveling underneath. So the Arabic hip twist with the drop, drop, drop is perfect. Same with the line for right arm up, left arm down for the the lost vintage version of Arabic hip twist, I mean of Arabic one, two, three, uh, with the right arm up, left arm down. These days, right, it's both parallel arms, which is also very nice. Um, and those that kind of starts from overhead. One, two, four, one, two, three, four, and drop, drop, drop. One, two, three, four, and drop. Drop. I would take it backwards as well, depending on your space. But most of the times we just take we only take that forward, the current version of the Arabic drop, 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 and shimmy back. Do something really fun. But if we're doing the Arabic drop, drop, drop with our hip twist, it's really easy to take that backwards because we swing that right foot behind us. So those are the two things I wanted to show you before we said goodbye for this segment. And please practice, practice, practice. Um, so now we have two things. We're practicing, we have the video segment before this that is that are some shimmies, some easy shimmy drills. And now we have the rhythmic undulation drills. So until the next time, See you then.